Hi guys, welcome to Nerd Bites, and this is going to be my top five film scores. There's been a lot of film scores over the years, and there have been so many awesome ones. They really drive the movie and make it feel epic. They make you, it makes it emotional, it makes it feel good, it makes everything fall into place for certain films. It really, really does. You can't have a film without a good score. It needs to make it feel epic. So this is going to be my top five. It's just my personal top five of the top five film scores. Five. In at number five is Jurassic Park by John Williams. Jurassic Park was just a groundbreaking film and the music was just as groundbreaking. It just John Williams just knows how to capture an epic moment and seeing dinosaurs on the big screen with humans for the first time and the digital effort that's gone into it and the fact that to make it look so epic as if you were actually viewing it in front of you for the first time, he just knew how to make the music work in these scenes. It just it, it was perfect. In number four is the Dark Knight Rises soundtrack by Hans Zimmer. Hans Zimmer uh, is a great uh, composer. He's done loads and loads of different films. The Dark Knight trilogy being one of his highlights. Um, I'm going with the Dark Knight Rises soundtrack because I just think the final film it was just a lot a bit more epic, a little bit more amped up, and the, the way that he put this score together just really, really put in the awesomeness of, of of the Batman and just made it feel so so organic, but it made it dark and gritty and real, just like Christopher Nolan wanted, and just the way it was put together with the scenes that it was in, it just it worked so so beautifully. In at number three is uh, the Avengers: Age of Ultron by Brian Taylor and Danny Elfman. Um, this might be a bit of a weird choice uh, for some people, but again, it's my list. Um, I just thought that Age of Ultron was a brilliant film and the score over the top of it, the way they kind of used the, the main title from the last film and remixed it and rehashed it with a load of different bits and bobs and made it bigger, more epic, more awesome, just like a sequel should be. I just, I can't help but keep replaying this soundtrack, it was just an awesome soundtrack. It really had the title Superhero in this soundtrack, it, the, the, it just worked so well and for that reason it's definitely in number three, it was awesome. In at number two is the Lord of the Rings score by Howard Shaw. What what can I say about it? It just this trilogy was so epic, and I'd say at least fifty to sixty percent of that was the music. It just hit the notes where it needed to hit them. It made everything epic, it made it desperate, it made it just so powerful throughout the entire trilogy. Everything about this music score was perfect, right down to the very tiny little nitty gritty bits. It just made everything so much more awesome and just it, it made the whole land, all the characters and all the storylines just more full, more better and just this score just made this film so much better. In at number one is Star Wars by John Williams. But Star Wars you cannot have Star Wars without John Williams. When the new films came across, I've always said if John Williams wasn't in it, I'd be less interested. This man has to be part of this um, cinematic universe because it's just incredible. The music just 
hits so perfectly in every moment that you're watching these these films. Just everything about this space opera just works so well and a lot of that is because of John Williams and he just understood the material that was in front of him and made it so much more awesome. The, the Titan and Open Crawl, the main title was just an epic track, it really got you into it, didn't screw around. Even the softer tracks, the more de depressing and desperate tracks were put perfectly on the top of all the stuff that needed to be. It worked brilliantly. The Imperial March even, that track was epic. It, was, it goes down as one of the greatest bad guy tracks of all time. It seriously was awesome and for no other reason than the fact that I love Star Wars and I love John Williams as a composer, that this is going straight in at number one because it is just so, so epic. You cannot deny the talent of this man and what he was accomplishing with these films. So that was my top five film scores. Uh, let me know what you thought. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Let me know what your top five film scores were. Let me know down in the comments or you can send me an email. You can also find me on the various social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can also find me on moviepilot.com. Just type in Nerd Bites anywhere and I'm sure you'll find me. And of course, keep it nerdy.